Hi there folks, Dr. Dave here with another TI-84 Plus tutorial. In this tutorial I want to look at using the TI-84 Plus to do uh, calculations with matrices. So I'll just focus on, on simple 2x2 two two matrices, but most of the stuff we'll talk about here can be applied more generally, and you know, particularly to 3x3, three 4x4 three, four four and so forth. Okay, so I'm starting off with a couple of 2x2 two two matrices, A and B. Uh, first thing we want to do is enter these into the calculator. So to do that, press second, then matrix. This gives you a list of the matrices that are available. So what I'm going to do is move across, uh, select edit, and I'm going to edit matrices A and B here. So press enter to start off with. I need to change the dimensions. So there needs to be a 2 by 2, so enter between each number. And then we just fill in the values. So the first one, 2, 3, minus 1, and 4. And click on second matrix to get back to that same screen. So again, to edit that, and to edit the second matrix B, again we want a 2 by 2. And then enter the values. So 1, 2, minus 3, and 5. And then we can quit out of there. And then we're going to do the calculations within the main screen here. So first thing we want to do is work out A plus B. So to do that, again we press second matrix and we just want to select the name of the matrix there. So we just stay in this screen here. We can either just press enter or click one. And then plus, similar thing, second matrix. And to select that one we can either move down or we can just select two. And so we've got matrix A plus matrix B, press enter, and they give us the answer, which we can see matches up what we've got over here. Okay, so second second calculation, similar case. So again, matrix A, this time subtract, matrix B, gives us this answer here. And then the final one, matrix A times, or multiplied by, uh, matrix B, so the second one, and again enter, just making sure that when we do certainly multiplication we want the uh, dimensions to be uh, suitable for each other. Addition, subtraction, obviously the, matri the dimensions of the matrices need to be the same. Okay, the last thing I want to look at is calculating the determinant and inverse of a, in this case, this 2x2 two two matrix. So again we go into our matrix menu and we're going to select the second menu here so the math menu and we wanted to firstly do the determinant so select that option there and we need to again select matrix A close the bracket enter and that will give us the determinant so and because the determinant is not zero we're guaranteed that the matrix, the 2x2 two two matrix A, will have an inverse. So now we can go ahead and calculate that. So to do that, again, second matrix, uh, select the matrix we're after, and then we just click on the x to the minus 1, so the inverse function, and return, and there we have it. Now notice here this is returning an answer in fraction form. What I've actually done to get that is making sure when I've selected my mode, notice that the answers I've selected chosen the fraction form there. If I was to just change it back over to auto and quit out of there, oops, then going back and repeating that calculation, uh, hang on, doesn't seem to let me recall that, so let's just do that again. Oops. And inverse. Notice now we've got the answers in decimal mode. So make sure if you want these nice fractional answers that your mode is set to fraction, as we've done there. Okay, all right, so that's the basics of matrices. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. I think in a, in a follow-up tutorial, I'll look at sort of doing the row operations and so forth that we do for solving simultaneous equations, but I'll leave that for another one. Okay, thank you.